Okay, in this exercise, I'm going to be animating this tree getting bigger. So that means I have to set a keyframe for the scale attribute. I select the layer in the composition window and hit the letter S. That'll expose the scale attribute. And right next to the word scale, there's a little icon that looks like a stopwatch. This is known as a stopwatch icon. And clicking on it will, will activate animation, meaning that it instantly creates a blue diamond here, which represents the current size of the, of the tree or this image. It's 14% wide by 14% tall. And these are the dimensions. I'm going to move down the timeline and then I will scrub the values. Scrubbing means to just click and drag. And I'm making this tree bigger, setting my second keyframe. Notice that I didn't have to click on that stopwatch ever again, okay? It's kind of like a one-time thing. I'll be mentioning that again later. But all I had to do to create my second keyframe, let me just delete this again. All I had to do to create that second keyframe was simply to change the value. Changing the value instantly created that second blue diamond and now when I play my animation, you can see that that tree is getting bigger. Okay, the follow-up exercise to this is, is really important because I need to talk about something called the anchor point. Okay, just to practice repetition here, I've got the tree, I'm gonna select it. I hit the letter S just like before to expose the scale attribute. And I'm gonna just click on the stopwatch to set my first keyframe and then I'm going to move my timeline down. If I do exactly what I did on the last exercise, I would scrub the value and watch what happens as I get bigger here. What is going on here? As I'm adjusting the size or the scale of this tree, it doesn't seem like it's growing from the base. In fact, it's getting bigger and smaller, but it's moving away from the center. And that's because it is, uh, it's being scaled from what's called the anchor point. This anchor point is also known as a pivot point in other programs. And the pivot point is the hinge at which this object will rotate. And it's the kind of like the origin at which it will scale from. Okay, and if you, if you go to scale negative, it'll flip to the other side of that pivot point. And that's why it's turning upside down. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this keyframe and move back to frame zero. In order to change my anchor point to the base of the tree, I'm going to activate the letter Y. I'm gonna hit the letter Y, which will activate the pan behind tool, also known as the anchor point tool. Okay, it's this weird icon up in the horizontal bar of tools at the top left of the screen. I'm hitting the letter Y and you can see that that anchor point tool turned blue. Now I'm gonna click on the anchor point and you can see me dragging this crosshair around. I'm going to drag it to the base of this tree. Okay, that's good enough right there. Once I've moved this anchor point, it's important to switch back to my selection tool because I don't want to accidentally move this anchor point again later. And there's a lot of things that I can't do while in the anchor point tool. Um, I just don't feel confident selecting layers and, and performing other operations. So I'm going to just activate the selection tool and then I'm gonna move forward in time and adjust the scale, there we go. Okay, there's my second keyframe with the anchor point correctly positioned. Okay, really important. 